<clears throat> good, good, good greetings. Greetings from Hammer Halea. Feel me? Had to compromise today, feel me? I told y'all niggas so bad me. I had to compromise today. Yesterday I had to compromise. Today I'm walking to work a little later than usual because I ain't got to wake up that early because, you know, did that move. It wasn't a move, but not a move as in me moving, but it was more like, you know, just being a little smart because everywhere is empty right now. I'm talking about there's nothing on the streets. Like, it's quiet out here. It feels like niggas left town. So this is one of the main reasons why I decided to do what I did. By staying out here and having to rely on somebody on a Thanksgiving day. Hoping that that person is an atheist and he's, hold on. Yeah, hoping that that person is an atheist and he's, not, he's working. Oh, probably some good Christian who decided to just work. But I couldn't rely on that, man. You feel me? It's just, I just had a feeling. So me just being outside this morning, and I don't see nothing, just let me know everything I need to know. Have you seen the post? My last post I had to post. I woke up this morning, I'm like, yeah. Nah, I mean, I forgot everything. So I got up 2 o'clock in the morning to go to the back into the store i forgot to buy a lotion toothbrush and everything so when i went to the store the lady telling me it's a 24 hour store the lady telling me 10 minutes i'm like damn 10 minutes but she was taking a while long niggas be maybe trying to play me so they leave change maybe leaving change on the way so i always pick it up i've been doing that since new york same people man telling these people be antagonizing me so every time they leave something, I always, I talk a lot, but I pay attention too. So I just a penny, a dime, five cents, or a quarter sometimes they leave it. <laughs> they always trying to like, you feel me, degrade me and diminish me. So I guess they planned it and go through, so they mad. And they, every time something like that happened. They'll leave a penny in the way and everything else like that. So I always pick it up. I collect those. And those add up. You feel me? They do add up. They do add up. So anyway, um, back to my thought. Or oh, they leave stuff like this. You feel me? In my path and in my way. To make it seem like, you know what I mean? They're constantly antagonizing me. And the reason why I know this is... This is messages for me because every time I get, I've been doing this for so long. And every time I get into a new neighborhood, I scout the neighborhood for weeks and months. And if I don't see the same behavior, if I see the same behavior, then I know this is what goes on on the regular. So I've been here for three months now. And the first time when I came around here, it wasn't like the way it is today. Feel me? People are just getting more dirty and filthy and leaving messages in your way. Whether it's a piece of shit on the floor or, you feel me, it's just very, it's just disgusting behaviors lately. Then I'm like, ah, it's, it's becoming like where, you feel me? Sometimes I blame myself sometimes, like, damn, yeah. But when I first came out here, it was very clean. There was none of that stuff going on. I didn't even see it. My pops was asking me, do you see a lot of homeless people over there? And I'm like, nah, probably like one, two. Maybe two, maybe two. Y'all used to just see one. But now, I'm bound to see one every day and different. But they're constantly trying to put it in your face. Like, this is what, this is what they want you to be. You feel me? So, I got to keep going. I got to keep hard working harder. I got to keep doing my thing. You feel me? Of course, the stalkers, they're going to stalk you and everything else like that. Look at my uh, uh, $12,000 sweater, feel me? <laughs> yeah, $12,000, nigga. Nah, it's not $12,000. Take, take, take all the zeros off. Shit like $12. That make that shit look good, though. Make a nigga jealous. <laughs> Think of this 
Yeah, I just told you because there's things I can't even tell you. So you ain't got to tell them. Nah, I can tell them this one. I tell them this one. It's a lot of things. I had a, a dream yesterday, too. That shit was crazy, man. It's crazy, man. I can't talk about my dreams like that no more because they don't want me telling y'all too many. They don't want me telling people too many stuff. <clears throat> but I had a dream, man. I have to follow up on that. You feel me? Messages be coming through. They be finding their way through. I can't even lie to you. Word up. Yeah, messages be finding their way through. Yeah, this shit feels like... It feels like a Sunday. Like nobody out here. But I showed y'all as soon as I woke up this morning, I, I'm like, damn, I forgot all these items. But I happened to buy underwear and undershirt. But I did not buy no fucking lotion and all that other good stuff. So I'm like, you know what? It's 24 hours, so it wouldn't hurt me. I took the shower, da da da. I got out the shower. I'm like, I thought I'm just gonna go straight to the store and come back. Right? I live walking distance. Like, it's not like I got to take the bus. I can walk straight to work from the hotel I'm at. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. More like a hotel, hotel. A slash in between. But when I, I, I post it, when I open the towel, it's like shitty towels. Like, literally, shit. And the stains and everything else. And I'm like, damn, like, that's like, yeah, I can't. Like, niggas be, that's what I'm trying to tell you. People be thinking I'll be exaggerating. Oh, he paranoid. I'm like. That's why I started posting my shit so y'all can see the constant antagonizing, the way they're trying to drive you crazy and without even showing themselves. Then they, they turn around and organize other people. You hear the noise and everything else like that. Like constantly, bro. Hate every day. Try to drive me mentally insane. And they don't never show their face. <clears throat> and I still get to keep my dignity. And I still get to keep my mind every day. And I've been going through this for years. I think they go so hard at me, man. And I'm in a whole nother state. On a whole nother coast. You feel me? And every day, there's something new. And niggas be following, stalking me. So that's why I started like, yo, let me start posting this shit. I ain't doing this shit for likes or anything else like that. I just hope one day it helps somebody out. I'm going to show you one thing too right quick. Niggas be thinking I be joking. This was here since yesterday and nobody has ever taken it down. And this never happened. Let me show y'all quick. Hold on. Show y'all niggas real quick. Feel me? Look at that. That's a blood stain. With one shoe. One of my favorite things to eat, which is that box over there. The blood stains going all the way to the top, right there. You feel me? So they constantly, like, this is the shit that I got to constantly go through. And that's just two. That's just two things I showed you, and I haven't even got close to the job yet. And there's more to come. People who just drive fast in front of you and just drop a message and keep driving. <laughs> <laughs> like I can make a video today And the answer will be uh, Dropped up on, on the next uh, Turn when I make a turn There's a message right there on the floor They try to leave you little pieces of messages You feel me But let me show you how That this shit is right now My nigga And I'm in the middle of the street There's nothing Nada So you expect me to rely I couldn't rely upon that taxi, man. That's why niggas was mad at me, because they, they really had a plan. They planned that shit out. And in my mind, I'm like, something was just telling me, yo, just go, just go what I told you, man. I know there's rain coming up and everything else, but what would you rather do? Save your rent money and not have a job? <laughs> Or have the job, and still you can still get that money before the rent comes. You feel me? Like and still have your job. Keep both of them. You know what I mean? Instead of just going home and coming, like, like you know what I mean? 
So that's I'm like, all right, man, I'm gonna listen. Start listening to my intuition. I know it's a lot of fuckery. And since since that happened too, you feel me? Like shit like this, feel me? This wasn't here yesterday. Stuff like that. They, they, that's what they do, man. <clears throat> that's what they do. That's what they do. You might be going through the same thing, but you ain't realized to pick up on the message and the, and the little antagonizing yet. But I use all that shit as uh, motivation, you feel me? That's what motivates me, just seeing these things all the time. Receipts and everything else like that. Niggas be robbing you. Try to charge you extra. <laughs> like, shit, like, I'm telling you, bro. So sometimes when I buy stuff, I got to quickly go into my account check and lock my account. Like, it's crazy. Especially when they know I'm about to pay rent. That's when the, all this detention coming in. Because they know that they try. Like, there's so many enemies. Like, there's so many ops out there, bro. I be dealing with a lot, bro. I be dealing with a lot. You know me, I can't shut up. Like, I can't be quiet for some people. Like, I just can't. I can't respect certain things. So, I have to speak out on it. And I know it makes it worse, but I can't be quiet because it makes it worse. I got to keep, you know what I mean? I got to get the message out. You know what I mean? Even if nobody's listening, I still got to get it out. At least I'm saying something. But they're listening. I know the enemy's listening. <laughs> Even if they twist the message. You're still going to get the message. <clears throat> the wise ones will. So, truth of the matter, once they seen that I did what I did, they had to embarrass me last night. So, they out there doing, they did with the, I don't know what they did because I be sleeping, feel me? So, I'm only getting attacked when I'm sleeping or I black out. I, you know what I mean? All, I, I don't sleep in that black eye. I be blacking out sometimes. I don't know. I don't even know when it happens. But I'll know later on that I did black out because I guess you can feel some form of attack that happened. But I'm like, damn. I'm trying to control it. I think I'm still learning. People know, but people don't be telling me. So it's all good, man. It's nothing. Even the doctors won't tell me. So I got to figure it out on my own. But I think I have an idea of it now. I'm going to try I'm gonna try that one. But then again, I want it to be natural. Because even if you, if you if you take a supplement for it, they will attack the supplement itself. And that can affect you too. So I'm trying to do it naturally and find a way where I can naturally do it myself. The lowest way. You feel me? You can, you can cure yourself, my niggas. You can. You just got to be focused. So yeah, they be... A, this is the constant antagonizing, nagging, scheming, feel me, gossiping, all that stuff. And this is shit that I got to go through, feel me? I got to go through this shit every day. I try not to involve people because this shit is messy. I just don't, I don't want to involve people where we don't even know. And they try to they try to get too many people involved. Like they try to get too many people involved. I'm trying to get I'm not trying to get people involved. So I mean I'm just trying to do I'm gonna do it on my own type shit. But you always gonna need somebody, but at the same time I don't wanna I need to understand fully what's going on first. If I get somebody involved that I know what to do. But anyway <clears throat> I had something else but it slipped my mind. It's probably on the way, sir. He's waiting for me to recall him. Come back, thoughts, come back. <laughs> Jack, Jack. That's a Titanic, which probably that's the only movie I shed a tear. I ain't say cry, I said shed a tear. You feel me? Yeah, and they try so hard to make you smell bad type shit like that. Just to paint you as that image that they constantly... And they be doing this for years. You think they'll let it go if it didn't happen. But these people are persistent with it. They might let it go for a little while and bring it back up. It's like an old, dirty book that they keep opening up to see what will work and what does not work. You feel me? Yo, I'm telling you, when I say there's no cause on the road, I mean there's no cause on the road. I'm talking about nada. 
Newton, Nuka. You feel me? So, yeah, when it when I said it tried to make me smell and everything, no, this is not my. Everybody know my natural smell. I don't have bitches taste my cum and be like, yeah, no, nah, I like the way you smell. Like, I know that's not how you smell. Like, yeah, you can take you can taste how somebody smell through the cum, or you can taste a girl's natural smell through the cum. So all the smell that they be putting on me, they be lying, man. My shit, feel me, a bitch. So, like, it doesn't even matter what you eat. It's like it's part of your DNA. Your natural smell is within you. It's like it's part of who you are. Of course, the food that you eat uh, kind of like influence that kind of smell and everything else. It might enhance it. When I say enhance, not in a good way or a bad way. It could be both. You feel me? It could be both. It could be the food that you eat sometimes will make your fart or breath stink. But at the same time, you have your natural breath smell. Everybody's smell is different from the next person. Uniquely different. You feel me? Just like your DNA. It's within you. And the bitch that you sleep with will definitely know it. The one that you sleep with her... I'm talking about men and women right now. Anybody else, y'all can just do your own imagination. So, men and women right now. Just take, let's keep it on that line. So, anybody that she sleeps with or anybody that you sleep with in the opposite sex, y'all will know naturally. Like, you will know. It's not about the flagrant or the most expensive Versace cologne. No, sometimes you will know. Like, yeah, that smells like, you feel me? Like, you would know. Like, you got, even when a person comes from the gym, naturally, you know. That's, even if you can have the worst smell of that smell or you can have the normal smell of it itself. You feel me? But they be trying so hard. Like, they like they want to diminish me so they can look better. I'm like, yo, you so insecure about yourself. They are so, so insecure about who they are as a people. This shit got to stop, my nigga. When I say, as a people, please don't attach these people to a race. We are all the same race. But y'all know. You know, man. You see you see these individuals hating. They come in all flavors. You feel me? But niggas is so insecure as a people. It's ridiculous, my nigga. And, and that just, this is the truth. I'm not just talking just to talk. This is just, you know, the truth. Let the, let the truth that set you free, and I'm trying to be free, so I, I gotta say it like it is. <laughs> Today seems to be. I checked the schedule. Hopefully, I'm not gonna speak on it, but it is what it is. And it's like you feel me. I don't want people feeling sorry for me or anything. I want people to see the things, the the, the things that a nigga gotta go through. That last night, even today's Thanksgiving. You're supposed to be spending with your family. But yet they want to spend that shit with me. You feel me? And it's kind of sad that people don't really have... It's like my situation, I can understand. Yeah, my situation, I can understand. Like, all right, cool. You feel me? You got to do what you got to do. You got too many forces against you. You They even have friends and family turning against you. Cool, like, you know. It's not like I'm forcing somebody to be next to me. But... That's not even my style anyway, because people come to me naturally. I'm naturally attractive. Even if the face don't tell it all, you feel me? I know it's deceitful. But if you was to see me in person and see my whole body structure and how I'm very, I'm lean. I'm a lean individual, but I have a sex appeal to me. I'm very charming. I'm not, I'm not being braggadocious. It's just the truth. It's, it's something, it's something that vibrates naturally about me that people like. The confidence and everything else. How he looked like he's sure of himself, but nothing is really going right. That shit, like, and it's like a mysterious factor to him. You feel me? They like, then the hat, then they thinking I'm an artist. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not an artist, baby. Then they hear the voice and everything else, and the way I talk, it's like, what the fuck? It's like, it's like they try to figure you out. So bitches like that kind of shit. They like that kind of stuff. So it's not like I do that intentionally. That's just who I am. I'm very complex and complicated. You feel me? Complex and complicated to the fifth power, I tell you that. Yeah, but I can't, I mean, this is who I am, man. And they hear the accent, they be like, what? Oh, that's a rabbit. Whew. Man, what the fuck? I like this shit. I know, oh, man, I need a fucking camera that can flip, man. I don't know. I mean, usually flip. It does flip when I'm not recording. If I'm about to take a picture. Oh yeah, that's a rabbit.
It's the first time I ever seen rabbit just roaming around without it being captured. It's just living out here in the natural world. And it's a beautiful thing to see. But anyway, and not just who I am as a person, you feel me? So a lot of things come from a uh, supplement for the lack of features. But one thing, a lot of girls like the way I look. Even though they try to beat my shit in and try to make me look ugly, they actually help the nigga out. Feel me? I ain't got the best body. I'm a skinny nigga, you feel me? But I do have something that most men are not born with. You know what I mean? I, one thing you don't ask to be born with is your complexion, the parents that you're born to, and the size of your penis or the size of your pussy. You feel me? These things are naturally given, and I was given that blessing. You feel me? So, they do find other ways to try to do you dirty, but everything works in it. Everything works. Then how does it go? Everything works in the power of every. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna get it. Everything works. Everything works for a greater good. You feel me? Those quotes, I gotta get you. Get it together, man. You feel me? Everything works for the greater good. You feel me? When you hear the word greater and good in one sentence, you know that shit is powerful. And they try to attack you and shit like that. They don't want you to walk to work. They mad at the fact that I decided to just, you know what I mean? I know there's a lot of things going on that I don't know and I do not see. And God protects me from the things that is known and unknown. You feel me? I always pray to God every night, thanking him for protecting me for the things that I do not know, the unknown things. Because there's a lot of things that is being done that I don't know of. That you can see the concerns or you can see the excitement on other people's face that you can tell right, something else is going on. They either trying to kill you slowly or they trying to hurt you very, very bad. And I always thank God for that, for even allowing me. So not you can't just thank God for stuff and not take the precaution. You feel me? This shit is dry out here, bro. It's really, really like nothing out here. I'm going to walk around this shit before I even go in. Telling you, man. Hold on. I have to spit. So, yeah, this nigga is super dry out here. I'm not even sure if we were supposed to start it. I should have checked my time again. Hold on. Let me see what time. We always start at this time. They would have told us. Cause it's so empty, even in the parking lot, it cannot be life. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm not gonna take the long way. Let me just go check that first. I'm gonna have to check back in with you. Yeah, man. But as you can see, man, they cut your head, try to punch the face, and everything else like that. I'm not ashamed of it. I gotta show the world, man. I've been going through this for too long for me. I've it's, you know, it's like, damn, did I, let me finish my last thought before I even get into this part. So, what was I even talking about? I'm blobbing off the mouth. I can't even lie to y'all. But that being said, I have to close that thought down there. But, let me tell you about where I'm at. Where I'm at, where I'm at with it, you feel me? Where you, it's like you knowing something for a long time, right? But you ain't, but uh, it wasn't known or you ain't tell nobody. I'm talking about the average person, the story. You feel me? That mountain in the background. I wish I could zoom in for y'all. This is, this is where I'm at. I'm not on a farm or anything else. They call this a city. I'm like, nah, y'all got it mistaken. <clears throat> so this is what it is, bro. You know what I mean? Niggas was really banking on the fact that they just they just wish they wish bad on me, yo. That's all I gotta say. But it's like knowing something for a long time, but you ain't tell nobody. So within that time frame, the thing that you know you had to deal with it, the emotions and everything else, the shock, everything else, and you finally gathered the power to tell others. Now the reaction that these people are going to have is the reaction that you already went through. So, from my point of view, I understand it. You feel me? When people see it, they be like, 
oh, and then, oh my, God. and be like, wow, he's going through this. Like, the, you could tell. Like, I understand it because I've been going through like in different states. When I go to different states, still the same because they stalking me and shit like that. So when I come to Cali and the shock of it, I be like, hey, I seen that shock before in other people's face in other states. So it's like you gotta wait for them to let it sink in because the shock takes a very long time, man. Even after an earthquake, there's an aftershock. You feel me? So that's natural. After an event happened and you see it, and you, your, 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 your sight has been disrespected like that because they have no regard for anybody else. They just do these things. They don't even care if it's a kid. Who wants their daughters to be exposed to this? Or who wants their wife to be exposed to something like this? Or what man wants to see? So same things when you see, you cannot unsee. So if it's like some people see this thing it's an earthquake. By you seeing this earthquake, right? Seeing that format. Then the aftershock lasts very long sometimes. It's like it comes and go. It comes and go just like an earthquake itself. So people laugh it off. That's like a shock right there. They be like, <laughs> like they're in shock. Like they, they like, <laughs> oh my God. Because they don't know what emotions to give off. So now they dwell, it dwells upon their mind. They're like this. And they're thinking like, some of them is in shock, like they're in shock. So it's like I be see, like I use my experience. You feel me? You can say trauma too, cause you know, shout out to you. You can say trauma. Nino Brown was talking about trauma. Yeah, people go through trauma, but the things that you can go through a trauma of somebody else's trauma. So you just gotta protect your sight, man. Protect what you see. Protect, <laughs> protect your mind, yo. Know? Cause these. That shit ain't cool. That's why I'd be like, nah, I don't, I don't, allow, I don't allow people to do certain things in front of me. You feel me? I'd be like, nope, you are not going to be, nah, you ain't gonna do that in front of me. I try to disrespect that. Nah, I can't allow abuse, anything, pedophiles, and act like I didn't see it. Nah, I can't sleep right with my conscience. It hurts me. I just be, I just be, it just hurts me. You feel me? I'd be like, no. It's like, it's not about being a warrior or anything else. It's just wrong. It is wrong. And I have to say something or do something about it. Because then I couldn't be, I can't be who I said I am. So it's like, when I used to say that a lot, people try to test you and shit, man. Some people in the couple, like, they they, they try to set you up. Because I said, nah, I can never allow a man to put his hands on a woman, da 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 then these people played a part out where he literally started hitting the girl, but it was all a setup. You feel me? And while the other girl, there was another, like, they would set you up in a group. So you got to be mindful and wise about these things, too. You feel me? And later on, you find out it's a setup. Like, you feel me? You be like, but when you seeing it, you like, fuck, it's going on out here. Now, you try to step in and everything else, but then you get to realize it's a setup. And I, what I got to realize was the things that was going on. God was just opening my eyes right then and there. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. You, you, you seen that book of Eli when there was, when, when, uh, what's his face? Uh, I said, what's his face? Denzel Washington? Hold on, let me ask somebody a question. Excuse me. Um, what time do we start today? The same time, right? We start the same time? I mean, with... <laughs> Yeah. You're going through it. Yeah, you're going through a difficult time. But if you don't, you have your ID on you. Uh, it's in my pocket. All right, good luck. But <laughs> when does your mandatory overstars start? At seven. At seven in the morning. For real. And what time do you usually start? I do overnight. Oh, you do overnight? Oh, right, right. So I would be getting off like. Right now? Yeah. So you've been out here all night? No. Oh, oh, oh. No. Uh, I didn't come last night. And I showed up this morning. And I didn't come last night. So I did. Yeah, it happens. It's like, it's a Thanksgiving. They keep giving it to you. Like, <laughs> yeah. I. Good luck. Sorry about that. All right. I think it's supposed to start. Um. And oh man. Uh, I'm just. Oh, time is it, man? 
I know I'm supposed to, because the schedule is different. It's not different, but I know it's something different today. I got eight o'clock on my shit, so I'm supposed to supposedly start in. So I don't know, this place, they be switching shit up. I mean, it's not like I've been in the company for six years and I ain't never seen so many switch ups in my life. I'm being denied things that I, you, I'm, like, I, like it's crazy. You read the rule book and it tells you the things that is required. I'm, very, I'm well qualified, and they still denying me these things. So it's like, a, it's like a constantly get, like they're doing their own thing out here, bro. Simple stuff that you, I get every year. I can't even get them anyway. Let me look at the Yeah, they working together against me, man. You feel me? Just so they can say that you stink. Like, niggas put extra perfume or cologne on. Just so they can feel better about their situation. And be like, <laughs> like, it's crazy, man. They're so phony. <laughs> you know, like, like, if you got to do all that just to be better than somebody, then you are not who you say you are. You have to take a check that. You can't be better than me if you got to cheat to win you can't cheat to win it has to be natural you feel me let it happen organically my last video was called organic you gotta let things happen organically you feel me you can't cheat your way out to success then demonize the other person ha 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 i did better than you you feel me you can't do that like that shit is weak it's just beyond weak you understand? Like, people just gotta learn how to win fairly. Stop taking performer enhancing drugs. Stop taking, you feel me? But let's get back to the story. There's just so many cheaters out there, and it's part of like a culture that we didn't know about. I guess you'd be stupid to play a fair game. Like, you better cheat if you want to get ahead in life. Somebody probably, parents are probably telling their kids that. And I to, I'm not using a black voice and anything else because I just happen to use that voice, but. I know black people don't do that shit, but most Africans don't. But it's like, it seems like you be a fool to be real. Like, you keeping it real? Nah, bro, you gotta do what you gotta do. Know what I mean? Why are you honest? Nah, you can't be honest with these niggas. That's a fact. You can't be honest with everybody, because you can't tell. You can't be. If you have to lie and be dishonest and not be real with somebody, you need to remove yourself from that person. You feel me? You need to be around people who, you need to be around people who will allow you to be who you want to be without you having to 